hi and welcome to the channel. Today we are bringing you the biggest in the RV industry. That's right, we're here in Auburndale, Florida at Camp Margaritaville mm -hmm. and we're at the Southeastern HDT Rally. Yes, we're so excited, but you know what? We need to hear from the people that drive them. That's right. All right, so we are at the first annual 2024 HDT rally here in Central Florida at the Camp Margaritaville Resort. And we are doing our first slow roll through the resort with 29 big semi trucks. Doing a, a rolling truck show and then we're gonna go up to the front to the staging area where we're gonna park these big trucks and show them off to all the other folks in the resort that might have questions on how these things drive, the capability, <coughs> the safety of these trucks, what they're capable of doing. So stay with us and then you're gonna see all the other trucks that we have in line. <laughs> Look at that! On We're on it! How amazing was that parade? Enjoyed every minute of it. So, such big trucks, how crazy. And they're all converging in one place, Camp Margaritaville. Tell us a little bit more about it, Mayor. Well, I wanted to get a rally of us together. Um, it's a great community, all these mm -hmm. HTT people. And I thought we would have it here at the re uh, at the resort. Uh -huh. They're all spread out throughout the resort. So we had the parade here. And having the parade, I thought we could run all the HDT trucks through the resort. Mm -hmm. And then all these regular tow vehicles that are towing the fifth wheels like this. And the kids see these big trucks coming yeah. through the resort. Uh -huh. And then we parked them out front in our staging area. And that gives the opportunity of a... Ford Dodge Chevy truck owner yeah. to come out and talk to us, the owners yeah. of an HDT, to ask us all these questions like you were asking me about exactly. safety, visibility, mm -hmm. you know, cost. What what's yep. the cost of owning one of these things? So, we had friends come in from all over the country to yeah. be here. Thousands the, of miles. Yeah. They traveled here. And the camaraderie amongst all of us because we have yeah. the same thing in common: camping, mm -hmm. the community of HDTs, yep. and then sharing what this HDT means to us and what it could mean to a, a fifth wheel owner that is tired of getting beat up by his truck. Yeah. Go over the cost of ownership, the yeah. cost of buying a truck, yeah. building a truck, owning a truck. Yeah. All those questions got Yeah, and answered. how you make your reservations and how many places can accommodate That's you. That's true too. Because yeah. once you build one of these, yeah. that little campground that you once went with your Ford with yeah. Maximus yes. <laughs> and my Ram. Well, sometimes you don't get to go back there. Yeah. But in today's world, there's resorts like this being built, and yeah. you do have options. Yes. Thank you, Rob. 
And what do you think? Should we go head over to the rally? Let's do it and let's show everybody what these trucks have. All right. So they're still coming in. I think we have like 28 or 29 of these big trucks from all over the country. They came down here to Florida to have our little meetup over the weekend. And it's, it's our first one and I think we've had 29 trucks. And what a show. So, all these guys are going to be able to show up their trucks to all the other folks in the resort and give a little Q&A session on why we drive these things. So stick along and you'll find out too. So you'll be able to see inside of these big rigs. Look at this one. That is a brand new Kenworth 100th anniversary edition of the truck. And he pulls a brand design momentum with that one. And then we got some Volvos. This one right here tows a four-door Jeep on the back of this one and tows a big new Horizon fifth wheel like a 48-footer. So what we're doing now is we got everybody staged and parked here at our first annual HDT rally at Camp Margaritaville in Auburndale. So uh, we've got them staged and parked. So now I'm gonna take the Jeep off of my truck and let it sit on the ramps. That way people understand how this Jeep gets on and off because most people think it goes off the side like a lot of smart cars. But we have built-in ramps. These ramps will come out. We'll drive the Jeep down and go Jeeping. That sounds amazing. demonstration purposes only. <laughs> Normally it comes all the way off. Um, all right, I'm here with Robert and Julia, and they're gonna show us what kind of truck they have. Hello, I'm Julia. <laughs> I'm Robert. Uh, so we have uh, Volvo 780, uh, which is a full sleeper cab, and we pull our smart car on the back of it. And then we pull our travel home, uh, which is part of the RV. That's amazing. And how long have you done this big We uh, originally, actually, we were all set to buy uh, one ton dually. And we found out about these uh, before we even started. Uh, and, and then no turning back. There was no yeah. turning back. Yeah. Yeah. We've, been, we've been on the road full time for four years. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, the best part about it is that you have a small vehicle, so you can go into all the small historic downtown places that you wouldn't get with a dually, right? Exactly. And, and that, that was, yeah, and that was the thing. We once we found out about the, so our smart is electric. Oh, okay. So we charge it off our house, and uh, we, you know, when you go in, that thing parks anywhere. Well, good. Well, thank you for telling us about your truck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.
All right, guys, I am here with Mark, and you can tell right behind us there's a story to tell. All right, this is a, a 1997 Freightliner Classic. I drove it as a company truck or a, as a owner operator for 20 some years. Uh, it's got 2.1 million miles on it. Wow. Uh, it's got a Detroit Series 60 motor with a 13 double over with 264 gears. Uh, That's incredible. Yeah, it, uh, it's been a good old truck. I ended up, uh, uh, when I retired, because I pulled nothing but show loads, and when I retired, I decided to, to uh, turn it into a camper puller. <laughs> and I can either put my Toyota Tundra in the back, I can put, uh, I've got a, a Miata that I carry back there, I've got a side-by-side -side I carry back there, plus two kayaks and two three-wheel bicycles. I tell you what, this thing is fantastic. So that's that's the ideal. The ideal was if I got some place with the Tundra in the back and they wouldn't let me in the campground, I'd drop the Tundra on the ground, pull the camper in. True. Yeah. You know what? Let's take a look at the tide. I tell you what. <laughs> this already feels comfortable. This is fantastic. Got enough hood on it. I tell you what, this is uh this is taking you back. Yep. This is this is a 1997. This is back when uh, and there's no emissions on it at all. Really? Yeah. It was it was before the EGR valve. It was for all the def and and all the. So, like I said, I I've, I've got I'm watching the trailer in the back of the cab with this. This of course GPS and yep. then this is monitoring my tires, pressure, and the trailer. Because if I'd ever have a flat tire on a trailer, I probably would never know it until yep. I saw sparks. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But oh, yeah. I, but I got to tell you, this thing just sitting in here, you said two million miles. Right. Are those your two million miles? Yes. Woo! I tell you what, the, the, the young guy that was talking to me, he was saying his that truck down there's got sixty two uh, thousand miles going forward, and I said I probably got that many going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, well, you know what? I love it. The interior is fantastic. This takes you back into, it, it's almost like a historical step back in time. Oh, yeah. A time capsule to, just to see the essence of it, trucking. Like I said, the, the cruise control's here. There's nothing in the steering wheel uh, as far as, you know, buttons for anything. You know, all the gauges are all, um, you know, uh, mechanical. Yep. Yeah. Well, it sounds like... A lot of trucks uh, nowadays have a lot of assists. This one does not. This no. is all skill-based on a right. Freightliner chassis. That's it. Well, you know what? This is fantastic. Thanks for having us. Hey, thank you. Yeah. So I tell you what. So you've got a whole different type of rig. I mean, this is this is fantastic. So what are you keeping behind the curtain here? Oh, like I said, that's where I put my Tundra. That's amazing. Or I put my side by side, or I put my Miata. But there's two kayaks up in the roof, and then we have the two three wheelers that that uh, the recumbent three wheeler, like you just saw in yeah. there also. And uh, but a Tundra, it. a Miata. At not the same time. <laughs> not at the same time. We're gonna pack it full, hit the road because we're RVers. Right. Tell us a little bit about his truck. Yeah. So I got a uh, 89 Freightliner Cabo, 400 Big Cam Cummins, and it's, uh, I got it. it's my baby. <laughs> what? How long, how long have you had it? Uh, five years. Five years. Really? And have you, do you travel a lot? Like, do you go? Uh, somewhere out of Jacksonville, Florida, and, Jacksonville, Florida, and okay. um, Tampa is really about the farthest we've been, so this will be okay. the second for this trip. Oh, 
grab onto that one up there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm so glad I'm not afraid of heights. <laughs> wow, this is up here. How amazing. It is. It's fun to drive. You can see everything. Everything. And then if you get tired, you just climb right in your bed. That's right. That's awesome. So do you guys do a lot of um, like stopovers and truck stops on the route? or No, like I said, just short you trips. So within state. Oh, there we go. That's awesome. <laughs> How cool. Just uh, short trips then? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're looking to go to Sturgis and do some other longer trips. So, uh, oh, nice. So Florida, South Dakota. And... Do you have a motorcycle too? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. We both do. So So you, um, on the bed of the truck, what do you pull with it? Uh, so 45 foot uh, toy hauler, fifth wheel toy hauler. Oh, okay. Nice. So we can get both motorcycles and the uh, golf cart and the toy hauler. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's a big toy hauler. It is. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us your Absolutely. rig. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. And then put your foot down here. Okay. Yeah, you put the other one there. Okay. Now, swing over it. Hold oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be yeah. a gymnast. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. All right, guys, I'm here with Mike Harrison, and you can see the truck that he has behind us. So, Mike, tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a 2016 Freightliner Sport chassis. Um, I was driving a 3500 Dodge before, but the RV, of course, went a little bit heavy, so I had to go with something much more substantial, and I picked up the Freightliner. It has a ISL9 coming engine, which is an 8.9 liter tur turbo uh, engine. It's got the Allison 3200 transmission. It'll pull over 30,000 pounds. And actually, I took it to Alaska last year, and I had no problem whatsoever going up the mountains, and it cruised perfectly. Cruising, I get, oh, over 1,200 miles per the tank, so I can miss a lot of the gas stations. But again, it does hurt when you do fill it up the first time. So it's, but other than that, you can't knock it. It's a beautiful truck, and I love it. Well, I know who I'm going to be talking about, about our trip to Alaska, but you know what? <laughs> Let's go take a look inside. Well, this is fantastic. I'll tell you what. So I'm already looking around and I can see a huge back open, unlike a lot of other HDTs out here, you've got a 360 view. Got a 360 view, plus the back seat, there's a button on each of the doors that will, or the, the driver's side door here, mm -hmm. that will put the uh, the back seat totally down into almost a queen size bed. Oh my goodness. It goes flat down through there. Traveling around, I put a, a, a cooler, or fridge type cooler in the back seat, so all of our drinks are there when I travel. Uh, little things that I've changed around is that the big mirrors that were on the outside yep, I was, noticed that. was a big blind spot to me. Oh, uh, no way. Oh, yeah. I mean, you come up to a T-junction and you're looking all around trying to make sure nobody's around. So I took those off and I got the two 9-inch monitors on here. Now, if you look on the post out here, the post have the cameras out there. Yep. And with that, since they're out, these two cameras, two mounts here will go all the way down to the back of the RV. No way. And it shows everything. Plus, as you drive, you can look at the cameras and see the white lines as you drive. Since the cameras are right here, you can see right below you. So you know you're in there. I, I'll tell you what, you've taken this to the next level. Fully digital. Yep. 360 degree view. 360 degree view. Times two. Yep. You've got the cameras and you've got the fact that you can just look around yourself. Even the mirror up front is digital. That's fantastic. It's a camera up through there. Plus, plus, it's a dash cam, and there's another dash cam I installed first before I put the mirror in. I have another monitor up here that does both the hitches. And this monitor is when I haul the RV. I put the cameras actually in the very back of the RV. Yeah. So when I drive, it's looking straight behind me, just like a rear view mirror. I tell you what, I love it. This is fantastic. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. Thank you for coming.
Robert and Sophia, and they're going to tell us a little bit about their truck. Hi, I'm Robert. Uh, we have a 2015 Volvo VNL 780. Uh, we bought it in 19, uh, 2019, excuse me, uh, and we've done a few mods to it. We've put the bed uh, on it and stretched it 80 inches. Uh, we put a few decals on it. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much about it. And you matched it completely to your rig? Uh, we, we matched the gold of the rig through some uh, minor pinstriping. Nice. What <laughs> kind of rig do you pull with it? We have a, a, a 2023 New Horizon. Oh, nice. it, It's 50 feet long. She's a beaut. We, we built this because we really wanted a four-door, you know, our Rubicon on it. So that's why we did this. Okay, so you're towing your Jeep behind. Yep. Oh, up on, on top. On yeah. top. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. Sorry. No. <laughs> well, right now it's kind of like in the air. <laughs> yes, uh, it is. Kind of behind. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> It, it fell off. Yep. <laughs> yep. And we so, love it. That's yep. amazing. Yep. So you get to travel with your with your Jeep and you matched your rig, the colors. I mean, it's just beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank do, you. Do you mind if we take a look inside? No, oh, not at all. Okay, awesome. Come on Show in. us. Yes. <laughs> Wow, I love the interior. I love it too. Oh wow, wow, this is huge. Thank you. And it's, you got the dinette back there. We do. We have the microwave right here, refrigerator right here. Oh, that perfect. right there, you can mount the TV on. Um, that that converts right into a. Uh, a bed okay. as well, okay. the dinette, and then of course my husband put a porta potty in there oh, for me. Oh, that's perfect. That yeah. way you don't have to worry about you know for stopping me, yeah, and going to the other rig. Yep, to and, the fifth and, wheel. Yeah, yeah, when you travel. Yep. So yeah, oh, do you ever use the bed? Uh, we have not yet. Okay. So, but it's there in case we need it. Yeah. And then we have three miniature dachshunds, and so oh. I, I want to make sure we keep our kennels in here in the, in the event there was an emergency. Oh, okay, so, that's yeah. wonderful. So they travel with you in here. Yep. Probably yeah. not in the kennel while you're traveling. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably yeah. all over you. Yes. Yes. They even fit on the dash. Yes, they, and they do when we when we stop to fuel. It's really cute. Oh. So we have a great time. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. I love your rig. It's beautiful. Thank you. And safe travels. All right. Thank you. <laughs>
and put the bottom bed together. Um, that's Cafe Seating. My wife actually works back there while we're on the road. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. yeah, it seems like that a lot of uh, people that have these trucks, that's what they do. The wife or the husband works while the other uh, significant others driving. That's awesome. That's pretty cool that you have the ability. So it's almost like having a motor home because you have half of one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us. Yeah, well, you're very welcome. Yeah. All right, thank Johnny. You. We'll, we'll see you. Yeah, around. you will see us. All right, we're good. We're good. We appreciate you guys. All right, we're here again with Mike Harrison, and he's actually going to let me drive his rig. Mm. I'm so scared, nervous, Piece excited. Piece of cake. I know. Lee's just signing me up for all kinds of new things today. Well, you're going to find this isn't very much different than a regular dually that you had before. Okay. Uh, you're doing it, you're sitting a little bit higher. Oh, that's and, But amazing. your field of view is so much larger. Yes. And you're staying out of the rain splatter on the highways, right? When it rains? Uh, you're like still going to, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there. it's a little but, bit Now, higher. the only difference you're going to find with this one is my mirrors were removed and I'm using uh, monitors and cameras as wow. my mirrors. So high tech. You'll have much better view as far as going down the side of the road too. Wow, that's awesome. Well, let's uh, do it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> wow. How amazing. This is nice. And this is automatic, right? Yes, automatic. Oh, thank God. <laughs> now, it does not have air brakes, so when you get ready to go there's a small button over there on the side said brake release park brake release yeah uh -huh. you'll, you'll push that okay cool. so now i hit the brake and then put it in gear just like a regular car same thing okay and then i do need to release the park brake release that okay and then hit d oh it's a big push and, button and you're in wow okay It has a little bit better of a... Much better view. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, is the picture too dark for you? Cause you no, can, it's good. You can hit this and brighten them up. Okay. How do I go back in the seat? A little bit. Oh, just here. Found it. Yep. That is incredible. Did you put it in yourself and saw it yourself? Or you I had, no, I, I had somebody in there. But now, as far as for the that monitor, straight and funny that's for the RV cameras oh, all right you don't even have to hit uh, the gas too much so I have to say something this is so yeah. awesome Mike this right here is fantastic wow. your mirrors <laughs> are all digital yes everything look at this this is like a command center if well, you were going to drive an HDT, look at this. We, where are we going? Wherever you want. Just make a big circle. And... Okay. You want to go out and drive a little bit faster? No. no. <laughs> this is this is perfect. Just go, we'll go all the way around the yeah, whole we'll park. Yeah, we'll go around the... Yeah. That's awesome. You can jump out and then you can drive. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I love that. Lee's got to feel it too. Yeah. I mean, this is comfortable. I feel okay driving this. Um, by itself. It's, it's, I don't it's know nothing. about it's, no. It's, no, there's no difference. Yeah, that's true. But you can see with the with the you got so much more view yeah, with this amazing. than you do with mirrors. There's no turning back. You might have to put the seat back. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Seatbelt first, safety first, but I'm already feeling a turn of events here. This is nice. Okay, All right. the, above the key, there's a button that says brake release. Yep. Push that. Got it. Okay, put it in drive. All right. Put your foot on the brake. Got oh, it. You're in drive. <laughs> All right, is that you're, it? You're in 6 1 right now, yes. 6 1? Yep. Look at the view around here. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, so you guys can't see this, but sitting in this cockpit, it's like a fighter jet. We have so many screens, 360 view. Hey, guys, 360 degree view. You've done a great job, Mike. This well, thank is, you. This is phenomenal. Oh, we're moving. Well, 
Well, you got to remember, this is an MD, MDT. Yeah. So that's why I put Minnie Cooper on the back. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm just giving it a little bit of gas and this thing just wants to pull something. Oh yes. Right now it's just pulling good company. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is fantastic. Beautiful day here in Florida, driving an, an MDT, not an HDT. In Margaritaville. Stepping stones here in Margaritaville. I know, right? I mean, this is sun fun. This is what RV is all about. I'm glad we could share this with you guys. Are you comfortable back there? Oh, uh, absolutely. Are you really? Yes. I mean, you guys. So I much mean, space. the seats are so big. <laughs> They're more comfortable than uh, I'm sorry, Maximus, but yeah. you're no longer with us, so. I was thinking about taking the back seat out. One of my thoughts, and then putting two more air ride seats back there. Oh, okay. Or putting a big couch system and wrap around couch system kind of thing. That's awesome too. Like out oh. of a regular RV type thing. I'm gonna say this: looking at this point of view from way up high and just looking and just seeing everything it's hard to go back it's hard to go back your class funny. c just doesn't have the right oomph well it doesn't have diesel so yeah uh-oh got a tight squeeze here you're right the turning radius is fantastic oh yes yes the turning radius is amazing i tell you what this is just phenomenal man squeeze it around are you kidding look at this you guys saw it. This is this is fantastic. You know what? I can't say enough, Mike. You've done a great job. Thank you for allowing us to oh, drive my this. My pleasure. My pleasure. How amazing is that? Wow. You see this bouncing? Yes. How did you like it? This is the Alaskan Highway. <laughs> it's good for your back, huh? Look at this. Okay. There's no turning back. Yeah. We know what we're at. Oh my. Now we did it. All right, I'm here with Neil. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your truck? It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> if you look inside, you'll see that there's disorganization in all directions. Um, it's a 2016 Volvo uh, 670. And when we bought the truck a couple of years ago, it had about 636,000 miles on it. Oh, okay. It now has almost 700,000 miles on it. Wow. Um, You're doing some traveling. And due to what I do for a living, it required me to have all of my tools with me. And my wife said, well, my tools wouldn't fit in the basement of her RV. So I had to find a new way to haul them. Wow. And there it is. So we built a box. Uh, the dimensions of the box is six feet by eight feet by eight feet. Wow. And I just kind of designed it as it got built on the inside. And it's still a working progress. I do eventually have a plan to make the inside not look like plywood, but until I have everything where I want it, I'm not going to finish the wall. Yeah. So, I mean, otherwise, that's, that's pretty much it. If you'd like, come on inside and we'll have a look. Like I said, it's a mess. Wow. So. You have a full-on workstation. Indeed it is. It's I everything I need to have while I do solar installation, LED light installation, and fire suppression for RVs and boats. Oh, oh, so you do boats mm -hmm. and RVs. Correct. Wow. That's, so, so when you travel, do you travel to, to specific locations because people request your help? Actually, I, I, I do both. Okay. Uh, in fact, we're here now because we're at a rally, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I travel to various rallies, whether it's HDT rallies or specific mm -hmm. RV rallies or yeah. RV organization rallies like okay. uh, the Escapees or the, FH, uh, or the Family Motorhome association okay. motor coach association um so we go to various rallies and uh -huh. then we're vendors at those rallies okay also if if between rallies i have customers that <laughs> reach out and say hey you know so and so referred you okay. uh how can i meet up with you for you to do this for me uh -huh. and then we either try to meet up where our travels can incorporate their location okay. or we just pick our next destination as a meetup point ah, so that way it kind of awesome. works out for everybody yeah, how neat is that? so when we leave here right now we're in uh auburndale florida and when we leave here monday morning we're literally making a four-day trip 
all the way across the country and going straight to Quartzsite, Arizona. Oh, wow. Then, so do you have a lot of uh, requests there already? I already they're have. For you? Yes. <laughs> I, in fact, they've, they've, they got there before me and they're all calling me every day saying, like, when are you, are you leaving? Because <laughs> they're all tired of sitting in the desert waiting on me. Oh, I can understand So, uh, that. yeah, I've got, I've got uh, four, four jobs already lined up waiting wow. for us to get there. So That's it's, amazing. We're, we're blessed to have the, uh, uh, the, the, the customers and friends and, and the relationships that we have because everything is by word of mouth I and mean, oh, we don't of course. part any advertisement other than this happening yes exactly uh, your great job you do right. and what's your uh, website uh nomadneal.com okay nomadneal.com awesome thank you so much absolutely thank you <laughs> okay so nina has decided that i'm backing up her jeep onto the big uh whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's jeep? Yeah, yours. Rob's oh. Jeep. Oh, Robicon. My so, Jeep's prettier Rob's than Rob's Jeep. Okay. And bigger. But Mine's that's usually her bigger. job is what I meant to say. Yes. And now I'm doing it and I'm scared. She wants to experience it. I You're sh scared. I do it. Yeah, I do want to experience it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should move the other truck a little bit further. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll the tips <laughs> I think we need to wait till they're gone. Yeah. I don't know, why not? Just throw the monkey in the wrench. Let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Here. Hold on, I don't want to break your finger. I just have your little finger. <laughs> You know, are nervous. you nervous? Just a little. You'll be okay. Look at my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the brake, right? Yes. So you okay. put the foot on the brake and hit, hit the starter button. Oh. Yeah. Put it in neutral. Oh, we gotta okay. get it in four wheel low, baby. Wait, she, can she put it in neutral? Okay. Right? Yeah, put is it, it in neutral. Put it in neutral. Is this a no, neutral? this one. This one. Okay. okay. Put the transmission okay. in neutral. Okay, is it neutral? Now, now grab that and pull it. Pull on. it all the way back. You the gotta front. grab it and pull it. Like you're mad at it. Okay. okay. Over, no, over, over. To the right and okay. down. <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't now, have my spinach today. That, did it light up for it? No, you gotta go down one more click. No, not that one. Oh. Sorry. There. Now it's in four low. Yeah. Now put the emergency brake down. Well, keep she's your, got to put it in. Your, wait, emergency brake down. Okay, this one. This one. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> Now it's in neutral, so now you're going to go in reverse and you're going to feel the Jeep lurch back. Okay. All right. And now I'll keep it wait, straight. Wait, follow Rob. Right, He'll tell you how to turn it. They're moving their truck because they're nervous. Okay, just let go of the... Did it go in neutral or is it... No, it's in reverse. There you go. It says four wheel low lit up, right? Yes. Okay. Tell her which way to go. L. Good job. Is that enough? Wait, he'll tell you. Stop. Eee, that was fun! <laughs> <laughs> Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. A little bit more. A little bit more. Right there. Stop. So park. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was fun. That yes, was fun. Accomplishment. How do you turn this sucker off? <laughs> yeah. Push. There you go. Stop. Beautiful. Now, awesome. be careful stepping out. Yes. How amazing is that? You guys have been able to go inside and out of all these HDTs and listen to the owners and all their stories. Fantastic. But now it's time for the awards. Mm. And we've kind of broken it into two different categories. So tell us about it. So the first category, we're going to do the best of show, first, second, and third place. And there's so many things that goes into that because mm. Each truck is unique in its own way. Oh yeah. And then some trucks are unique-er. Unique-er. In so many ways. So we went around and, and just, you know, saw what we saw and picked what we picked. And then we got a first, second, third, 
all best place. Yep. And the second awards was the most miles traveled, right? Mm-hmm. So that was near and dear to my heart because so many people put, you know, two to three weeks aside in their life to come here. For and sure they is. drove thousands of miles. And you know oh, how yeah. it is. When you drive across the country, anything from a flat tire to a broken axle, something could happen. That's right. So I said, well, let's do a first, second, third for the furthest traveled second. And that was amazing. And I think those guys appreciate that because where have you seen those awards being given out? You haven't. And you know what? That's that's so special. It's not just best in show, but it's appreciating all the men and women, all those HD tiers that drove so far to get here mm-hmm. to support the Southeastern Rally and to have fun at here at Cat Margaritaville. Oh. amazing is that there is only one word that I can think of that can kind of symbolize the day that we all just had and that is epic epic Epic. yes it was an amazing day it was so great to meet all the HD tiers and they were so forthcoming with information and friendly and showed us all around their HD tiers we had a Mm -hmm. great time thank you mayor for having us Thank you for allowing Pam yeah. to drive oh, your well, Jeep up. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. She drove my Jeep. Backing yes. the yep. Jeep up. Yeah, There's one fun. one intricate person that's not here, my buddy Neil Pope. I want to throw out a big thank you to Neil. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a big part in putting us together with all his HDT folks from out west. Thank yep. you, Neil Pope. Thanks, Neil. And, uh, thank you. We're going to do this again next year. So if you're in Florida around the January time frame before the RV Super Show, yes be here definitely sounds good teamwork makes the dream work right sure yes <laughs> because that dream work turns into a what epic time exactly sure yes we'll see you guys next time